Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Ebert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the XHD to D901. This is an AM FM shortwave radio with an MP3 player and Bluetooth function. I got this off Amazon for $12.29.99, minus a 15% off coupon. Brought that price down a bit. I was pretty happy with that. So let's check it out. Saw the name, I'm like, oh, it might be a cool radio. You know, XH Data, they make some cool ones. They make the Radio Wow, they make the uh, D808. So, hey, a D901. <laughs> okay, World Band Radio, Music Radio. Uh, this is TF, USB, 18650. Nice, I like to see that. Cool to see that in the radio. Number one. Music display, picture of the radio. We got 12 bands radio, cool. On top here it says world band radio, pretty much the same stuff. Yeah, thumbs up, rock on. <laughs> really hyped up about their own radio, cool. Same thing on that side, and then the ends, it says features on the 901. Kind of look at that, Get pretty much what the box said. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Always fun to get a new radio, right guys? All right, what's inside? Okay, the radio's in bubble wrap. Just gonna grab it from the top here. Pull it out, and then inside the box, we got a instruction manual, and the box is empty. Okay, set the box aside, and let's look at this manual. So just gonna zip on down here, Put that aside. Okay, so XH data. D901, user manual. Here we go. Just going to kind of slowly pan it across the screen. Da, da, da. Should be able to remember all this stuff. If not, no big. It's all right here for you guys. You can just pause and read it. You got uh, USB TF MP3 playing function. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting radio. It has some features that I'm pretty excited about, and some that are pretty basic. Uh, you'd see on a cheap $10 radio. So, yeah. We'll get to that. So, down here we got specifications. There's your band coverage. FM. You got two FM bands, by the way, if you look at that. Your AM band, it says 520 to 1730. Um, yeah, I can't really test that, but it does. Mine goes to 1710. There's your shortwave coverage. There's, there's breaks in between that coverage, though. All right. And then there, contact information. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get the radio in bubble wrap, which is nice. Now, when you get your radio, it'll have a plastic protector over this big area, this big plastic dial. Nice. Okay, so let's go over dimensions, and then we'll do a size comparison. So dimensions of the radio. We're 8.5 inches across. That includes the tuning knob. For height, we have 5 and 1 8 of an inch. And for depth, we have about 3 inches from front to back. So it's a fairly deep radio, but it's lightweight with that uh, 18650 powering it. So I do like that. So size comparison. I guess we'll just leave it like this here. We'll bring in some items. We got a CC pocket. There you go. That's right where the speaker grill is. I love it. That's a little mini AM FM digital weather radio. I'm sure you guys have seen that before in my videos. And the next I have the CC Skywave. This is an AM FM Weather band, air band, and shortwave portable on the small micro side. There you go. You get an idea for size. Trying to get the, the width of that. There you go. And last but not least, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin like no one can. He loves XH Data's from China Land. He's Iron Man. All right. You get it. <laughs> My fun for the evening. All right. So. Let's talk about features of the XH Data D901. You can pick up for under 30 bucks. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. You, right away, you can see from the front, it's all business. There's no frills except for on the top side, which we'll get to. So let's look at the left-hand side. Oh, look, a flashlight. Uh, it's pretty bright. <laughs> Switch ports right on the bottom. So we're going to kick it on. And this thing will light up the room. <laughs> it is that bright. Um, Got to love that. So, yep, kind of cool. Enjoying that. Now, if you 
install if this takes d cell batteries and an 18650 they mentioned in the manual if you put d cells that may not light up properly so because not enough voltage it makes sense so just keep that in mind if you're going to run on regular standard batteries here's part of the strap i like how they did this uh, i thought it'd be kind of weak but that's actually a pretty strong attachment point um, nice flexible handle going to the front of the radio we have a metal speaker grill xh data placard and metal also and it's got kind of an embossed raised Kind of metallic -y thing going on. Nice. Speaker uh, measures on a visible uh, three inches. It might extend out more. It might be a four inch speaker if you include the flanges. Uh, D over here, got D901. It says radio, a little red LED comes in when it's on. Here's the display. It pretty much shows your track you're on. And it also shows the uh, mode. I think there's an all and a one. And when we'll get that going, we'll show you. So as you can see how it's structured with the bands, I'm going to bring this up lens you can see fm to the left there the standard one uh, 87 to 108 uh, you can see it's got am band it says 520 to 1730 it makes me laugh because yeah i don't think it's going to be that way and you can see how the shortwave bands are structured we got one through uh, what is it through nine you can see how they got that one starting at 4.75 it ends at 506 the next one starts at 5.6 goes 6.4 you see the little breaks in between the bands, but barely it's got most of uh, what you need. I'm um, pretty happy how they have it structured. So there you go. And then over here we have our FM2 band, which starts out at 64 megahertz and goes all the way to 108. Down here we have our band select switch. So we have FM, FM2, AM, and then shortwave. You can see it's, it's nice, nicely uh, lit up there. So you can tell at a glance where you're at. It's I like that. It's kind of primo, right? It's pretty solid feeling. Not loose at all. Right hand side, we have the volume control. Simple. It's all the way down. Okay. Uh, tuning knob. This tuning knob is actually fairly stiff. So when you get it to the station, it'll stay there. It's not going to drift on you because it's too loose. I've had that happen with cheap radios. Again, this has a, like a matte black finish, which I'm happy with. No high gloss there. On top of the radio, we have the handle. So like I said, some kind of flexible rubber. It's, it's nice. And you got some controls. So we have a mode button. This takes us to Bluetooth, MP3, and auxiliary modes. We have a back or uh, fast back, rewind, pause, play. And if you hold this down, change your mode from all to one uh, for your MP3 playback. Here we have uh, fast forward and track forward. Interesting thing to note here for charge, you to charge your 18650 battery, you use a Type-C cable, which is included, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, so yeah, and a little light pops up telling you you are charging. So type C, and it's cool to start seeing type C on portable radios. Here we have our selector, we have off, MP3, Bluetooth, and then radio function switch. Headphone jack, headphone experience. Um, so it's not fantastic. Number one thing though is there's no low level hiss. So if you like your volume at low level, you're gonna like this radio, it's beautiful. Uh, there's no FM stereo and there's no stereo on the MP3 playback. It kind of bugged me a little bit, but it is under $30 radio, so I couldn't expect a ton, but it would have been nice to have stereo. Here we have an SD card slot. I did populate it with a 16 gigabyte card. It does not come with that. This is my own. I think it's like a little Samsung 16 gig. It reads it no problem. And then you got a spot for a thumb drive, I like a small USB stick. I like using those low profile ones. Here's the interesting thing. We got the auxiliary in, and this also will act as your FM and shortwave antenna. So when you're not using MP3 mode, it acts as the antenna. Nice. Uh, and then up here we have our FM shortwave antenna. And this measures out to 26 inches. Gets decent reception. Pretty happy with it. This is a DSP radio, by the way. Digital signal processor. So it does have those steps to it as I tune it. On the back here, it's got like a vented case. And on the battery compartment, it has some interesting writing. That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, first of all, you can see the AM band. I think it's a 1620. It's definitely not. It's definitely 1710. Um, get your coverages, battery, and it's make in China. <laughs> usually they capitalize the C in China, and usually it says made. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of iffy on the, the quality of this radio. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. So we'll get the back open, show you where the batteries go. Yeah, this is a weird battery compartment. Either it's easy to open or it's hard to open. So there we go. We're greeted with our cables. We get a Type-C to USB to charge the radio. Not bad. We get a little patch cable for auxiliary in. So you can hook up like an MP3 player to it that has more robust features or just something else that you want to have a better sound with. 
Okay, nice. Now our battery bay. Interesting thing is, it takes 18650 button top, uh, pretty much only. Um, it will not take any other type of battery unless you modify it. I modified mine a bit. As you can see, this positive terminal, it looks like it's a U-shaped. I actually made it U-shaped by taking a small screwdriver, pushing it in there to push it forward so I can use a flat top battery. So it'll now accept my flat top battery, which is nice. Just note orientation when you use a flat top battery if you do a modification like that. Now, just a warning, if you do start bending this, just be careful that it could break and you should have some soldering skills to fix it. If you don't, then leave it alone. <laughs> But yeah, I'll take these now, which is great, uh, but it will not fit the uh, protected cells. So if you have like an Orbtronic or any other protected 18650s, it's just not logged. There's not enough space in there to do it. So this will this will not fit. Okay, That was a bummer. Thought it would, but it didn't. Now the option is you got two D-cell batteries here. What I recommend to do, if you're going to use D-cell batteries, take this out. I measured the uh, contacts here, and there's this runs in parallel with this battery. Not a good idea to run D-cell alkalines in parallel with a 18650 lithium. Typically, it kills the uh, D-cells. And I believe if it's hooked up to the same charging circuit and you hook up Type-C and you forget you have D-cells in there, you're gonna start charging your alkaline batteries and pretty much either blow them up or they start leaking. Not a good idea. So take your 18650 out, put your D-cells in, and never plug in to Type-C when you're running alkalines. So just something to say. <laughs> they, they went with a rather simple setup there. I do like the fact you can remove that. All right, so we're done talking about the, that. And let's turn this thing on here in a second. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and go to the front. All right, so we're going to talk about FM reception and turn it on. So FM reception report. Um, I always do this with my radios. We are going to do an FM band scan tonight, which is great. But uh, typically with an analog radio, um, all analog, something like this here, uh, you'll get uh, about 48 stations in my area. And it puts about okay to good category right in the middle, two and a half stars. I started as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Only a few radios I've reviewed have ever received an excellent score. Those are usually high-end digital radios, portables. But this radio did really well. It scored 62 stations found, which puts it in a solid three-star category, which is good. FM selectivity was different. Um, I gave it an okay to good rating, an average rating, because this uh, DSP, it latches on stations, which you'll hear. So you'll get a strong station, and it'll stay on that station for like five clicks, and then you get to the next station. So you might have missed a weak one in between. Then I'm going back and forth, trying to see if I can find a weak station in between two strong stations. It gets to be rather cumbersome and a little bit annoying. But when it latches on that strong station, it stays there forever, which is fantastic for DSP radio. So not, not bad for an average score. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. What I'm going to do is go MP3 first. We'll do an audio demo of the MP3 player. You get an idea for the music. Play by TF card. Seven six five four three two one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother! So we'll run this for a few minutes.
at Old Time Radio. The Couple that. Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. <laughs> So the volume goes from like on to pretty much off. <laughs> but you can fine tune it, it's got a real easy. Alright. So you get the idea. Turn that off. Um I actually paused it. So yeah, that's a cool setup there. I did forget to mention that on the headphone jack, uh <laughs> I was all like bummed out because I didn't have FM stereo or MP3 playback stereo. But I forgot to mention that the uh audio sound, the FM, uh it's weak on the lows, it's decent on the mids, strong on the highs. Same uh, with your uh, MP3s as well. The AM and shortwave band has a neutral tone, which is great for talk. I noticed that I did like it better on shortwave and medium wave. So, I had to mention it. I did remember while I was doing the audio demo. <laughs> Let's go ahead and flip it to radio. I'm on radio mode. Okay, what we're going to do is, I'm going to do an FM band scan, so I'm going to... Take my little antenna here, pop it loose. And I'm just gonna hook up a little wire to it. This wire will help me get a little better reception because I'm in a subfloor basement. Um, and we'll get an idea what it sounds like. So let's just clip that on. This will work with our shortwave too as well. Since I don't have a connector for the this one here, I'd rather use that, but this is fine. This will work. Okay, let's see what we can pick up on the FM band. So we're on FM1, because FM2 would take a while. <laughs> There's nothing down here. Okay. I notice it doesn't start picking up stations until I move it quite a bit down. So dial accuracy isn't going to be fantastic. Embrace the teaching of sacred scripture like Deuteronomy chapter 18 that forbids necromancy. In that sense, we're not to commune with the dead. Right. But it doesn't say anything about not praying to the dead. Uh, 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 we're just asking for their intercession. And, and we've... Falls into the sky. Yeah, that's good audio. And became the conduit for the wrath of God against sin. He was dying in our... Ple ...defeated. But I think what's more important is to bring this... Tone control would be nice, uh, but otherwise it does sound fantastic. As you can tell now, it's his radio there with the LED. This conquistador. He's on the beach. Do you find out? So the thing about Springsteen is that he comes from a very working class... I'm getting word that he left to get a taco when you need a taco. Mm -hmm. See, bye. Wait a minute. Are you saying your sponsored job? Terms and conditions apply. Hear the voices in my head. I swear to God, it sounds like a snoring. And Pfizer. Two for Tuesday. Crank 10 at 10, wasn't it? Bird back at the driver's seat. Night drive. Now it's Aerosmith's time to pump. Make the most of the stuff. Having fun. As you can tell, the dial indicator is this really cool um, see through with a line through it. I do like that too. And I like this high contrast bands here. This is 98.7, by the way, so I think some of the dial accuracy does come back into play. May increase your chance of fibrosis and colonopathy. With two mortgages. Contact me. Here's Uh, yeah. I'm from LASIK Plus, and we just... Our doc. Come for me to trust.
Their staff needs to double before the dream deal becomes a nightmare. Front end, back end. Shop a personalized store that does all the work for you. For at getcoveredillinois.gov. That Dziękujemy naszym członkom za zaufanie. Nasza Unia. Arena. Tenemos una firme sorpresa y también. Okay, that's 107.9 right there. Okay, so yeah, just a quick note. I am in Chicago, Illinois, USA, and uh, the current time is 10.49 p.m. Central Daylight Time, again, near Chicago, Illinois. That is the current time. Okay, it's good to know when we're doing the shortwave scams as well. So let's go to the uh, shortwave one, and then we'll do an AM band scan real quick. So we're at the bottom of uh, shortwave one, so we'll just kind of work our way up, or back. We're picking up uh, 5025 uh, Cuba. There's WWV on 5 megahertz. quicker here. As you can see it's spaced out nice and open there for the small amount of increment you have to go. So it's even with a DSP we'll find stations. I found 20 during the day so not bad at all. Solar index was around 102 today. Not bad. Let's go next short wave band, two. And you can see we're in column two there, starting at 5.6. Here to stepping as we go. And it's not too bad on short wave, it's really enjoyable. them that are afar off upon the sea, which by his strength set it. Pretty quick. A few stations, I'm surprised. Okay, let's go to three. Let's pick up quite a few evening stations. One more band, what the heck? And then we'll get to our AM band, do final thoughts. During the day, of course, this is busier. Toward dawn and dusk, it's also busy. expect to pick up anything just got curious okay so we're done there let's go to the medium wave band so 
AM band utilizes. This one? Oops. The AM band utilizes the internal antenna, which uh, was really good during the day. Uh, daytime reception um, was good for locals and good for semi locals, which I was pretty impressed with. It was uh, actually easy to listen to, and some distant stations were coming in as well. Uh, so it's definitely a good AM receiver. So let's go ahead and lock that back down. Okay, let's tune this up. We're at the top of the dial. We're using this column, this first or second column actually. Now it's definitely got a lower tone. And believe me, if Select Quote isn't shopping for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. There's 560 to Chicago. Call 800-523-3771. That's 800-523-3771. 800-523... Okay, that music there I think is 650. We're going to go ahead and just check it with the Skywave here. Um, Skywave is pretty cool because you can just enter the frequency in. And see what you got. Nope. That's something else. But a key lesson here is that a great name is not a great company name. Portions of the following program will be recorded. You are listening to 700 WLW. Also available on 94.5 okay. FM W Here you go, 700. Three, Cincinnati. Let's go back. Maybe my dial is good. So it's about 300 miles away. Today sedans and SUVs. Hurry to your local hunt. 670 to score. Hyundai.com to find the dealer near Chicago. Offer ends 1322. Started with up to 650. 640 to MFN, P20 Illinois. Trying to get 650. To your purchase, plus no down payment, no monthly payment. As you can see, I'm trying to get 650. Selectivity is not that great. 640 still. There we go, there's 650. So as you can see, um, it takes a lot of uh, forward and back to tune in your medium wave stations. Um, and you get a little bit of that in short wave, but not as much. Uh, it's because of spacing between stations. Where the the voting uh, the, uh, no votes are, are apparently being counted as we speak. Even.com. Tune into Home Sweet Home Chicago, hosted by me, Sarah. Seven twenty WGN at ten. Homeside Financial Equal Housing Lender and MLS one one two. Teach me tonight. Seven forty Zoomer Radio. This is uh, CFZM Toronto Ontario. Four hundred and sixty miles. So you get an idea. You can do it. And if a shooting star. Won the World Series tonight, defeating the Houston Astros, winning the series four games to two. More. Information. Le Premier ministre Justin Trudeau estime que l'imposition d'un prix sur le carbone reste le meilleur outil pour faire la différence dans la lutte. News Radio 840 WHAS. Uh, ground Zero here on 840. Nice. From ABC News. Go right to the bottom here. Cantu. Off your elections. Voici le first time since 1995. Atlanta Easley. Mm -hmm. That early in his career, uh, he was seen as someone who wasn't going to be. Are locked in a semi Three, four games to two. 69% of the votes have been counted. Great. He becomes the city's second. Hope for your life. AM 1160. Online at 1160. Local Chicago, 1160. Hi, it's Aubrey Sampson from the Common. Voters have said no. Overwhelming. 1180. Proposal to dismantle the uh, police department. This is a Miami, major blow to progressive Democrats and to the police movement overall. <laughs> So overall, pretty decent receiver. 
and a hand band. So let's call it there. Cool. Uh, turn it off here. Do final thoughts on the wonderful XH Data D901. Uh, if you're expecting a premium experience, you're not going to get it with this one. <laughs> it is, it's cheap feeling, um, but the tuner isn't bad if you can get used to the DSP uh, back and forth. Shortwave, it works really well because you can see how they're structured. FM isn't bad. Uh, you'll notice it crackles a little bit when you're just off station. That tells you there's a stronger uh, spot to go to. And you just go to that stronger spot. And of course, the crackling stops on FM. And a medium wave, you can see it gets picked up quite a bit. Uh, but you have to kind of go back and forth for selectivity. Uh, you may or may not like that. That's typical with DSP radios on the cheaper side. The more expensive ones, like an EP Pro, doesn't do that. EP Pro is the best DSP radio I've ever reviewed. And if you can spend the extra bucks, you get that one. But if extra bucks aren't there and you want shortwave too, and you want the ability to run D cells or that 18650, I do like that. I think that's awesome. This radio is a worthwhile pick, especially when it's under 30 bucks. If it's on sale and it's like $25 pickup, it's worth 25 bucks. Is it worth 30 or more? Eh, probably not. I'd probably looking more towards their this line here, the smaller radio. Well, I'd have more fun with this radio here at $44. So if this is over 30, think about getting a smaller digital like this, the R108, and be happy as can be. <laughs> That's a good little radio. It sounds fantastic as well. So there you are. Does it get a recommended buy for me? It gets a, a maybe. It gets a maybe. If it's, like I said, over 30, no. If it gets under 30, give it a shot. I think you'll like it. Uh, it's fun. Just have a little patience with it. And uh, again, it has the Bluetooth, which I forgot to show you, but pretty basic. It comes up as D901 on your phone or your player, whatever you're trying to use. It acts as an output only, not as a sending, just as a receive. So something to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you did. Two, if you like XH Data Radios, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And three, comment below what you think about the D901. All right, guys, take care. And we'll see you in my next video.